Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sadie and today is the moment we've all been waiting for. I've had so many people comment and be like, where are they? When's the video? When's it coming? Are you doing swatches? So I thought I would just get on camera, let's do it. I finished a night shift this morning, I should be sleeping right now because I've got another three nights, but this is more important. So I haven't even actually opened any of these yet. I've literally just opened the box and like lifted it. I actually haven't even done anything. But, oh my god, this box is so big. I'm trying not to get my address on it or anything. But look! I was sent all of the brand new shades of the Velvet Trap Lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Um, yes, I am on Jeffree Star's PR. It's very kindly gifted all of these. Thank you so much to Jeffree and the team for this. Like, I don't think people realise how like special it is to me. And I feel so incredibly lucky when I have this. So just thank you guys so much, honestly. Like... Mm. Um, so yeah, there's 25 new shades all together. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of like the older shades, I only have four of them because I just couldn't afford them. And um, so yeah, like this is crazy to me, but I thought, why not? Let's swatch all of them, let's do some comparison. So yeah, if you'd like to see some swatches of the new shades, then keep on watching. All right, let's talk about a little bit about the product before we get in. As you can see, it comes in this absolutely beautiful. Um, carton, it's got a velvet trap and you've got a nice little picture there. I totally prefer this one um, compared to the lip ammunition. Um, this just seems a little bit more fo like it's got focus to detail. Do detail to fo focus to detail. Sorry, you're going to get this because I'm I'm fucked after a night shift. Um, when you pull it open, so it's just a lift up from the top and she says that. I will admit some of them can be a little bit stubby. Um, yeah, you've got the Jeffree Star logo. It's like embossed all the way around the side. So you've got one that's pink and then one, like the other ones just like reflect off the light. I'm sure the shade I picked up is Wy Wyoming Ice Tea. Couldn't say it then either. This is what the packaging looks like. You all know, I call it my little bullet um, lipstick. I absolutely love it. It literally looks like a vibrator, but I don't mean that in a mean way. I love the look of these so, so much. They got a really nice weight to them as well. And I mean, I think these are the most detailed lipsticks I've ever seen in my life. Um, I'm really sorry, I just have really shaky hands because I'm just like, and I'm trying to devour a McDonald's breakfast while I'm here. They retail 16 British pounds and 18 US dollars. I really, really like the formula of these. Now, I'll be honest, I'm not much of a bullet um, lipstick person. I've always been um, a little liquid lipstick person just because I do have braces. So lipsticks um, do normally transfer my braces and it's not a pretty sight because you have people that don't tell you that you have lipstick in your teeth. But I really, really like these. Yes, they are just a lipstick. You know, there's not incredibly long way as much as you get as a velour liquid lipsticks. But the formula of these are beautiful. They're like a soft matte, but like they're so soft on the lips. Lip lips? They are so soft on the lips and they're very, very weightless. Like you don't feel them on your lips at all. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pick some random from the box. I'm going to zoom you in and let's do some lip swatches. All right, so the first shade I'm going to go into is Wyoming Iced Tea. So this is what the shade looks like. All right, so that's Wyoming Iced Tea, and can we talk about how stunning this colour is? Like, it's like um, an orangey red brick, like, but a bit lighter. It's really, really pretty, I really, really like, like, I think that might become a favourite. All right, next shade we have is Extending the Olive Branch. Like, I am so fucking excited for this shade. Like, as soon as I saw this, I was like, only because, um, I don't know if any of you saw, like, my Jawbreaker look with just the yellow. Um, for the lips, I actually mixed Mannequin and Queen Bee, and oh my god, so beautiful as a, a lip combo, so I was like, this is going to get ombre into so many colours. Oh, look at it. Yeah, it is like this um, more warm yellow um, olive tone. Oh. oh my god, I love it. Also, can we talk about pigment? Oh my god, I love this so fucking much. Oh my god, so good. What do you guys think of this shade? I know it's a little bit more out there, um, but it goes really, really well with this look. I wanted to do more of a, like, just a natural look. Also, by the way, Orgy palette and um, Ice Cold Skin Frost. I've got Ice Cold Skin Frost on as well. Um, and I use some of the Orgy palettes for my contouring as well. <laughs> All right, next shade is Easter Sunday. I guess we're getting the uh, colours out of the way. So this is what the shade looks like. Alright, yeah, so off the bat, 
it's a little bit patchy. I thought it would be a little bit patchy anyways. Reminds me of a lot of the um, Urifra shade from Supreme Glosses. Yeah, I don't know about this by itself, but I think this would definitely be nice mixed with other colours. Alright, next shade is I'm Daddy. Daddy. Yeah. Love this colour, it goes so so well with um, the makeup look I have on. Really really nice cool toned brown. Um, yeah, really really nice, really nice. One coat, that's all you need. Next shade is Garden and Ho. Um, love this colour as well. It looks a lot like um, extending the olive branch, just a little bit more brown, not as yellow tone. But yeah, really, really I love these sort of tones. Ever since I bought the... Um, the money, is it money bitch? The green bundle. Like those orangey burnt brown tones are so beautiful. Next shade is Gravedigger. I'm swatching these so bad, I'm so so sorry. But I like to like actually show you swatching them, not just like do it and then show it afterwards. It just, you can really see what it looks like actually going on. Um, do part of my lips are a little bit red now because they're going to get a little bit sore. Um, but yeah, this one's a little bit more of a finessing one. Still really, really good coverage, but as you can see, just around the edges, there's a little bit of like, oh my god, what the fuck was that? Oh, fucking birds. Yeah, just a, little, a slight little bit of patchiness, but not too noticeable. It's only because I can really notice it. Next shade is Major Attitude. Mm, this is a beautiful, like, berry tone. Oh, I know I'm going to love this. Oh, oh my god, look at it. Ah. Fuck yes to this colour so, so much. Oh my god, I love this colour so much. I don't think that there's like, even at the um, the Blood Sugar Liquid Lipstick Vault, I don't even think there's a colour close to this. Oh, mm, so, so pretty. Would have wanted that to stain my lips just a little bit, just a little bit. Next shade is Planting Roses, which I'm really actually excited for. I loved um, when you swatched the shade. It's not going to love the shade as well. Oh my god, that's such a beautiful shade. It's like this beautiful mauve cool tone pink. It literally looks like roses. It's so, so pretty. Oh, that's, yeah, I just, oh, the thing is, I'm saying all these, they're all going to be my favourite, simple as, and I can't wait to, like, display these and use them. My dumbass didn't just record this little bit, but this is Red Affair. Um, this is literally absolutely beautiful. Um, like, look at the coverage. Look how bright it is. Look how how perfect it is it's so so beautiful oh my god I look, like i'm looking in my little screen and i just absolutely love it it's so so beautiful jeffrey does the best red red rum is the shit so when he said like he was like i'm bringing it out in the velvet clips that um in the velvet trap i was like here we go here we go um, i'm really hoping he brings out um like even more existing shades like i'm like i need a uh you know a mannequin and stuff like that which i don't think came out in the last one Right, so the next shade is Cherry Soda, which is from the Blood Sugar Palette. Oh, I just, like, I'm biased, I'm gonna love every single shade, and I'm gonna love every single red, and that's just final. Oh, I love that. It looks a bit brighter on the um, monitor, but actually it's a really beautiful muted red. It's really, really nice. Um, sorry, like, my mirror's here. Um, yeah this is gonna be a very good favorite of mine because it's not so like out there as like a blue tone red this is just beautiful it's got like a mixture of like a pinky sort of rosy mix to it ah uh, yeah it's, it's stunning absolutely beautiful oh this is one i'm really really excited for as well orange prick ah oh, oh my god that's so beautiful it is coming off a little bit like neon on the camera neon neon Wow, that's like a beautiful coral, pinky dream. Oh my god, let's get this on. This looks like the shade Fuck from Jawbreaker if it was a lipstick. Um, as you can see, a little bit more patchy than the rest of them, but it's still really, really nice and bright. Like I said, this would be really nice on braid. 
Um, it is really, really nice by itself, 100%. It's still got really, really good coverage for what the colour is. As I said, with the um, like Easter Sunday shade and like Urethra from um, the Supreme Glosses, like you can tell that they're sort of ones that will just have that little bit more transparency. But yeah, I still really love this. It's a bit too... And um, not for me because of my skin tone, but I would definitely mix this with another colour. My lips are starting to burn and a money 12 lipsticks in. Help me, please, someone. Next shade is Man Down. Ooh, it's very nice. Chocolatey, but it has a little bit more of like a purple shift to it. That's a beautiful shade. This reminds me of like, um, a more browner version of androgyny yeah really really nice really nice good coverage a little bit more patchy around the ends but obviously with a lip liner that could be easily fixable but yeah i like that one goes perfect with this look next shade is kumquat which is one of my favorite shades from the um thirsty palette i love to use this in the summer just by itself all over the lid i accidentally dinked this one when i opened it earlier this is like a really like another beautiful like sort of terracotta orange shade ah oh. This reminds me a lot of um, Allegedly. Um, but yeah, really, really nice. So you can see good coverage. Yeah, that's going to be on my tops as well. Here she is, Red Rum. So excited to try this shade. Even though I have it in my Bullet Liquid Lipsticks, I'm really excited for it as a bullet. Oh, just the perfect red. Perfect. Yeah, that's it. Wow, that is the worst swatch I've ever done in my life, but this is Red Rum, one of my all-time favourite um, favorite Jeffree Star li um, lipsticks. Um, there, it's just like that perfect like vintage red to me. Um, yeah, absolutely stunning, amazing coverage. Mm. Next shade is Designer Blood, which I don't think I've ever... Is it Unicorn Blood and Designer Blood? I think I've only tried um, Unicorn Blood, so I'm quite excited for this one. Ooh. Well, that's a very deep red, like, brown tone. Right, another terrible swatch. It always looks a little bit bumpy here because I need to sort my moustache out. Um, that's, yeah, again, a beautiful colour. Really, really good coverage. Oh, I kind of like it. It's very, very vampy and it looks amazing with just, like, the simple, like, wing look. Um, yeah, so for first try, that's a really good colour and I like, actually really like that and they've got all liquid lipsticks. Alright, next shade we're going to try is Miss Libra Lynn. Also, let's just ignore the foundation and the lips now because they're getting battered. Um, so let's just, we're all adult seal, just, let's just ignore it. So this is Libra Lynn. Um, I recently got this and they've got all liquid lipstick and I love it. Very, very similar to Allegedly. So, so pretty. Yeah, I'd say that's like bang on to the liquid lipstick. Allegedly, it's just a little bit more, um, a little bit more burnt. Libra Lynn's just a little bit more lighter, but yeah, that's stunning as well. Yes, every single lipstick is stunning, folks. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, this is one I'm really excited for, Cherry Wet. Cherry Wet is one, oh my God, this looks so beautiful. One of my favorite um, liquid lipsticks as well. Love to use this in the summer, it's just the best. And I mean, look at it. Oh, it's no, it's no. <laughs> Hi, and we're in this all summer. That's it. Thank you. So nice. This like. Even though I know it's a lipstick, like it literally looks like I have a, a liquid lipstick on. That's how soft and matte they are. They. You can't feel it at all, even if you do feel it. They're just really nice and soft. It's got no weight to them at all. They're so, so lightweight. Okay, my lips are getting so stained and look at my foundation, it's so bad. Right, the next shade is Androgyny. Now, I'll be honest, I know Androgyny is one of Jeffrey's like top selling lip lip lipsticks, um, but it's just not for me. I, I'm not a huge fan of the color. Not that it's not a nice color, I just don't like it on me. I know a lot of you say that you really like it on me. 
but it's just not not it for me i'm actually going to swatch this clean this and give this to my best friend because this is her fucking favorite lipstick ever she has this in everything and i think she'd really really appreciate it but she knows i need to swatch it for the video i mean i actually really do like it on but it's just not one that i gravitate towards to it's just like i would rather go for more of like a vampire red than like um a cool tone like sort of purple mauve um but yeah this this color suits her so well and i just know she's gonna absolutely love it like she goes through so many of androgenies so yeah that's definitely for my friend beautiful full coverage but it's just not my color I can feel like the eyes in the back of my head like from the camera like people are like the androgyny lovers are going to be like how fucking dare you insult androgyny but I'm not I promise. Next shade is Paleon pa <laughs> I think I going to fuck that <laughs> Next shade is Paleontologist There we go I can't remember what the shade looks like Ooh that's a nice nude Alright let's have a go Obviously I know these are going to look a bit more funky now with like my lips being quite red, so I do apologise. Ah. Now, you know me on this channel, you know I like my funky colours, but I also love a nude and this is beautiful. This has got like a really nice cool tone, but still a little bit more warm. It's like a neutral, but it's not too cool, not too warm. This goes so perfect with like the um, orgy colors. Like, yeah, this, this is a stunning color. Absolutely beautiful. Really, really like it. Again, sorry, my dumbass weren't recording, but this is a shade prick. We've only got five more shades to go. Um, this is a lot more brighter than I thought it would be. It literally looks neon on camera and it is really, really bright. I love it really really pretty very very bright it is literally like a more red tone coral version of orange prick um still has like that brightness to it this has really really nice coverage especially for the color and how bright it is um yeah i love it next shade is ranch girl ranch ranch whatever you want to say it this is quite a unique shade it's got like um it's quite like a red purple pink more rose sort of tone really really beautiful i haven't seen one like that from him um love that shade it comes off still really nice and nude but it is a little bit bright but i mean that in a nice way i really like this i don't think he's come out with a color anything similar to this um i'd be quite interested if he did but um yeah that's a really really unique shade and it's really really beautiful all right we've got three more shades left <laughs> look at my poor lips they're gonna start bleeding in a minute next shade is lace cake which is this like beautiful hot pink bubble pink bubblegum colour it's so so pretty it really matches like the unicorn just a little bit more darker but yeah that's a proper barbie shade well this reminds me of um bubblegum for all look lipstick it's a very barbie colour <laughs> i really really like it though really really pretty very very cool full very very full coverage really really pretty like i said really really barbie literally just reminds me of like a barbie colour and um yeah very matching to the unicorn and it looks a bit darker on my lips because of my lips being so stained um, but yeah, that's got really, really good coverage in it as well. My god, my lips have been <laughs> so much. But I'm doing this for you guys. Like, oh, so many of you have asked for this video. So I was like, I've got to sit down. I've got to do it for you all because I know a lot of you really want to buy some of the shades. All right, next shade is Plastic Surgery, which I'm pretty sure is in um, a Veloica lipstick. And this is a beautiful, oh my god, I'm dropping a beautiful another like chocolatey brown um shade it's got like more of a to me a little bit more of like a green tone to it yeah this really reminds me of one of the shades that are in like the um the money is it money queen money honey no it's money honey isn't it money honey um uh a quality no quality it really reminds me of one of the shades in the money honey um lip bundle I mean, it's got like that brown sort of greeny olive um undertone to it but yeah really really nice coverage that that goes really well as well i think i might like this color a lot so i have really got into more of those like olive tone but they're still like a little bit warm they're really nice neutral sort of tone guys 
It's the last one. My poor lips are crying out for me and my eyes are crying for me to go to bed because I need to go to bed because it won't be very long until I have to get back up for another shift. Um, so the next shade is Celebrity Skin OG. And can I tell you how happy I am that he's made this? Um, I've got the first one, which is, whatever it is, here. Now, even when I opened this, I was like, this is a Celebrity Skin. But I just thought nothing of it. But I didn't want to wear it because it was too cool tongue for me and yeah i'm really glad he's actually bought out the original so i'll just put them next to each other yeah as you can see like the difference like this is the first one and this is the og one so yeah huge huge difference that is literally like a cool tone gray and um i love celebrity skin so i'm really really excited for this because it's going to be the best and i just know it will be And I know it looks a bit naff because um, obviously my lips are so sore, um, but that's a beautiful colour. Yeah, that matches um, Celebrity Skin. Celebrity Skin? Celebrity Skin is so much better than the original one. Right, so that's all the lip swatches. I'm going to zoom you out. I think I'm just going to put like um, another colour on to finish the video and I'll be right back. Um, so I may have lied. I may have just took my eyelashes off, finished my food and then realised that there's one tucked. Um, hiding from me in the box and I can't believe I didn't click on that this is missing but Jeffrey's nudes we almost forgot about Jeffrey's shade <laughs> idiot I know I'm just gonna love this it's like another cool tone um, sort of nude like, I'm really sorry like my lips are so red raw from like actually swatching these look how red my lips are, they're so sore. This like is bringing them out even more. This literally looks like I've just had fillers or something in my lips. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I shouldn't laugh. It's a really nice color. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me a lot of I'm nude, um, but I need to take this off because this just makes this look so much, ah, <gasps> oh, no. Oh, it's alright, I'm taking it off anyway. But yeah, there's Jeffrey's nude. Yeah, again, thank you so much to Jeffrey and the team for sending me these, like, I honestly like still can't believe this like the fact that I have all these in front of me and I'm swatching them for you guys yeah it's it's crazy but I'm so so grateful for them and um, just thank you yet again so there we have you guys here's the end of the video um I've put red of here back on because I was like that was like the main one that like to me I was like right what lipstick I'm gonna put on that made absolutely no sense and like I sat in I was like right what lipstick am I gonna put on because obviously my lips are stained blah 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 and I thought red of here was absolutely beautiful i don't think i can choose one that was my favorite um obviously least favorite i would say was like easter sunday just because it is a yellow even though i'm not against wearing yellow like it you know just the pigmentation wasn't there as much as the other ones but i'll definitely still use it to mix in with other colors but yeah i literally i've got them all in front of me and i couldn't i couldn't pick one out to be honest with you i really don't know i loved how neon um orange prick was and the normal prick um, I'm obsessed with extending the olive branch like that's such a beautiful color oh, I don't know they all really really perform very very well and I'm really glad he made some new shades and bought out some existing ones I would actually like to see more from the existing ones um, I know a lot of people might have an issue with it but I'm down for having like some iconic ones like I want birthday suit so yeah I'm not going to do a comparison video in this video um, just because as you all know like I've said <laughs> I'm on a four night shift and I haven't slept yet and I need to go to bed and go to sleep because it's Dan's birthday and I need to get back up so you can celebrate with some cake before I go back to work. Um, if you definitely want to see um, another video of a comparison, please let me know down below. I can do it within this week and I can just swatch um, some existing Velour Liquid Lip Shade. Uh, God. And I can swatch some um, existing Velour Liquid Lipstick shades for you guys. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please don't forget to be a nice big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new and if you like any um, Jeffy Star reviews. I would very much, very, very gratefully appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.